Welcome to another camera raw non-destructive workflow tip. Makes sense? No? Doesn't matter. Whenever you open a raw image in Photoshop, it opens up the camera raw dialog box, right? Then you go ahead, make some adjustments, do all the editing and do it. Pour your heart into it. Now then you open the image in camera raw. And once you open the image and once it opens up in Photoshop, there's no going back, right? Suppose you edited it for a bit and you wanted to reset the image back in camera raw and you want to reset the adjustments that you did in camera raw, there's no way to do it. But however, you can always go to filter, add a camera raw filter to it, but that erases all the camera information, all the edits, all the adjustments that you did. It doesn't remember them. So here's what to do. Today's tip is about non-destructive workflow. So when you open a photo in Photoshop, let me show you how to do it. All right, so uh, this is a raw image. I'll just drag and drop it into Photoshop. So this is a raw image. Obviously, the camera raw dialog box will load up. So, it has loaded up. And now, suppose I wanted to increase the exposure, maybe the shadows, maybe decrease the highlights, maybe increase the clarity just a bit. All right, maybe, okay, let's make it black and white. All right, I made these adjustments and I click open image. But if I click open image, these adjustments will be fixed. I will never be able to go back. But instead, what you have to do, what you should do, is press and hold, watch this, watch this, press and hold shift, all right? When you hold shift, watch what happens. Have a look at this button. It changes to open object. I'm just leaving shift for a minute. It shows open image, but when I press shift, I hold shift, it turns to open object. And then if you click it, Watch this. The image will load up as a smart object. And this is interesting because with smart objects, if you want to reset the image, if you want to go back in any way or form, all you have to do, let me just close this up. All you have to do, suppose you did some edits, wrote some text like, hello. It just doesn't matter. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. All right. So this is the text that you put. And if you want to reset the image, double click on it. And again, boom the camera raw dialog box has just appeared. And as you can see, all the settings are still intact. I can always go ahead and change it. Every camera information is still there. If you want to reset, you can do that too. Click on this grid kind of icon. I don't know what to call this icon, but click on it and select camera raw defaults and it resets to its original state. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoy this and I hope you apply this to your images. And if you did enjoy, make sure you give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss any future tips, tricks and tutorials. I'll see you guys on my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.